Why, hello there, everyone. I'm the Owl Statue, and this time I'm going to be taking over this episode of Majora's Mask. I have killed Argon Matrix, and now you will suffer my wrath and watch me play this game. Hoot hoot. No, I'm just kidding. Hello, everyone. This is Argon Matrix. I'm not dead. Stupid Owl Statue. And this is episode 36, I think, of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Alright, so now that my little joke is aside, um. You might notice something a little bit strange here. Last episode, we ended by playing the Song of Time, but now, suddenly, it's 11 o'clock, or 11.15-ish, on the first day. So, what the hell? Did, did we go, like, forward in time? Or so, I don't know. Maybe. But, actually, we, yes, we did, because off-screen, between episodes, I was doing some stuff to prepare for this episode. As you can see, I have the mountain title lead here. Uh, I have some magic beans. I You only need one for what I want to do, as far as I know, but I brought two just in case. Um, you want a powder keg, which I have. And is that it? Oh, no, wait. Other things I've prepared, I have the Scarecrow song now. You can see. There we go. There's my Scarecrow song. Set that up. And I also went and beat Gott. In order to thaw out the mountain, because you're probably gonna want to do that for one of the things that I need to do. All right, and I did all that without ever having to talk to one of these guards. Apparently, how fantastic! Get out of my way, buddy. Wasting my time. All right. So, in the for the past few episodes, we've been collecting some heart pieces and masks and whatever, and I think now it's finally time to get on with the story. So, let's go ahead and call Epona so that we can make this trip a little bit faster. Plus, we're going to need to jump a fence to get into the next area. Yeah. The greatest obstacle we've ever encountered. The fence. Oh my gosh. Well, apparently Epona's greatest obstacle is a pole. She can't work her way around it easily. Alright. Let's get a move on. Come on, Epona. Oh, what? You can't jump down that little ledge there. That's stupid. You can jump off fences, but not... Oh, whatever. Okay, we'll go around and... Wow, I control if Epona really badly. <laughs> it's horrible. Okay, so out to the ocean we go. Yeah, this is a this great ocean. I mean, look at all this water here. So just avoid those guys and jump the fence. There you go. That very ornate fence. I love it. And time to see a new area. Oh, sure. As soon as we go into a new area, show the moon, why don't you? Something we've seen like a million times already. The Great Bay Coast. Well, that looks more like an ocean to me. So that's where it went. Alright, um, there's some more fences and stuff to jump here. And walls to run into, apparently. Never got that why when a pony, like, hits a wall or something that she, uh, just starts moon walking randomly. Okay. So I guess we'll get down from Epona now and start exploring this strange coast with the very ominous music. It's quite foreboding. Hey, uh, hello. Hey, what do you want? You know about the lever, right? It actually moves pretty really fast. That's not exactly good news, is it? Uh, no, not really. Oh, but one hit from the gilded sword will take it down in one fell swoop. Alright, so, um, this area right here, we're going to be doing, dealing with that later because we don't have all the items necessary for it yet, but what's here? Probably could have read the sign to find out. Oh, the fisherman's hut. Nice seahorse, buddy. I've been catching fish in these seas for 30 years. When it comes to catching fish, I'm even better than the Zoras. That's what I'd like to be saying anyway. Lately, the seawater has gotten really warm. Global warming. <coughs> oh, I coughed there. I might edit that out. Sorry. Oh, the, uh, I forgot to turn off the volume on my phone. Oh, well. It hasn't, happened my, it hasn't helped my fishing at all. And what's worse, the water has gotten murky, so when I ship out, I always lose my way and somehow end up back at shore. We fishermen, and even the fish, are really predicament, are, are in a real predicament. I, I was about to say real predicamental, and I'm like, what the hell is that word? Come to think of it, there was a Zora floating lifelessly out in the bay. Oh, there's probably no help in him now. Well, we can give it a chance, I guess. But first, what's more important, let's read the sign just to see if it has any funny text for us. Fisherman's hut. Rare fish inside. Yeah, really rare seahorse. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, 
Why did I do that? Whatever. So, apparently there's a Zora floating lifelessly out there somewhere. Let's see if we can go find him. Oh, what's this sign say, though? So many signs, so little time. Danger, keep out. Swimming prohibited due to murky water. Too bad. Okay. And we'll go ahead and swim out. La la la. Hmm. Don't see any Zoras floating around. I wonder what that guy's talking about. Well, we'll just go ahead and head over to here for now. And we'll go ahead and hit the owl statue. Now we have easy access. Hopefully this one won't try to take over my video. And climb this overly wide ladder. I don't know why that ladder's so wide. It just is. Marine Research Lab. Researching water quality and marine... Yeah, but whatever. It's basically a science place. Okay, hello. Oh, you're, you're familiar. They're elite. What are those Zoras doing? Hmm. What is it, boy? Did you come to watch the Zora eggs hatch? I'm excited about it, too. But those important eggs haven't arrived yet. It takes about one to three days from the time, from the time the Zora's eggs are laid for them to hatch. But if they are kept in an aquarium until they, then, they may die. The reason for this is that the recent amount of abnormal weather has caused the ocean temperature to rise in the region. Zora eggs are very sensitive to changes in the temperature. Only the way eggs can hatch. The only way the eggs can hatch is if they're placed in this aquarium water, which I set aside for them long ago. The Zoras are well aware of this, but they're still late. I wonder if something has happened to the Zora at the Zora Hall. Well. I guess we'll find that out later. What's this? That's a huge fish. I bet something. I bet it was a small fish, a single bite. Uh, and then it just shows a random close up of the wall. It's like, yes, this fish could eat one small fish in a single gulp. Here's a wall. Okay. Oh, nice flip there, Link. Jeez. You crazy person. All right. So, um, I'm not exactly entirely sure what we're supposed to be doing. I'll be honest with you. But, I'm just gonna kinda wander around here. I know there's supposed to be like a Zor or something out here. Well, I guess we'll just wander around looking for him. Can't just leave him out here to die. Oh, there's a like like down there. Stupid like likes in the water. Contaminating my waters. Hmm. I honestly don't know what to do. You know, hold on. I'm just gonna go off screen for a minute here. Alright, that actually didn't take me too long, but I noticed that there's some seagulls out there. And from playing Zelda, I know that normally birds, birds of a feather flock together in an important location. Like the, like it shows where the big octos are in Wind Waker, so maybe it shows something here. <gasps> it does! Oh, oh god! Uh, somebody! Uh, please! <laughs> Get me! To shore! Oh, we better help this guy. Let's grab him. Okay, come on, buddy. Come on, just push him like a block, Link. Yes. Yay. Link, a certified lifeguard. Yeah. And... Touchdown. Right? Oh, yeah, okay. And let's just watch him get up. How did Zora drown, though? What, what happened to this guy? Whoa. Walking like a Rita there, buddy. Jeez. Seagulls, leave him alone. Like, the poor guy just practically drowned, somehow. Apparently you can't drown a fish in water. Or is this really necessary? Oh. Oh. Um. Dude? Hello. Uh, I'm Macau of the Zora people. Guitarist in the Zora band. I think this is, this is it for me. My final message. Will you listen to it? Why? <laughs> Why? That would be horrible to pick. I won't listen. So let's be human here and listen to him. Oh. One, two, three. Oh, baby, baby, listen to me. The carnival's beginning soon. We're the ones waiting to see. They're waiting to see. But that girl, our vocalist, she laid some strange eggs, and then she lost her voice. You can hear what she says. Whoa, and the grave ain't now. Something is a-happening, is it now? 
Oh baby, listen to me. I don't want a big guru to pirates. They stole that girl's eggs. I went to stop the Garuda Pirates. Then pow and bam, I got knocked down. And here I am. I'm not singing this correctly at all. Baby, if I die like this, even if I die, I won't be in peace. That's for sure. Somebody please rescue her eggs before the pirates take their soul. Oh, somebody. Somebody, please heal my soul. That's all. Thank you. Well, if you didn't notice the red bolded letters in that song, then I'll just tell you now. Heal them. Okay, so. Um, how's the song of healing go? There it is. Okay. Uh, I took a bit of playing around, but I didn't have to go and check it like a noob or anything. Alright, come on, buddy. I healed you. I hope. Whoa. Extreme close up. Thanks. Whoa. What the? Oh, nice perspective change there. That was kind of artistic. I should probably shut up now. Whoa. <gasps> oh, that was sweet. And there he goes, leaving nothing but his face, and you know what that means. Yup. You got the Zora mask! This mask contains the spirit of a legendary guitarist. We hear wear the mask with C to inhi inhabit the body of a Zora. Press C again to return to normal. Hello, me cow. Carve my farewell song on my grave. I'm depending on you to help that singer girl. Can do, buddy. Oh, he's just rocking out. Look at that now. Rock out, ghost bro. Rock out. And. Oh. There's the grave. Good job, Link. Good job. Anyways, now that that nice little touching, heartfelt, fuzzy wuzzy cutscene is over with, um, we have the Zora Mask, the third transformation mask. Third and my favorite. Now, let's see what this is like. Oh my god, his eyes just completely disappear, and all of a sudden we are Mikau. Now, okay, so I'll show off some of his moves here really quick. As you can see, you can punch like that if you press B. Um... What else can you do again? You can roll there. If you hold B, um, you can do that, which is kind of like double boomerang power. You know, in Twilight Princess, you get the double claw shot, and in this one, you get the double boomerang. You just kind of tear off your fins there. And as you could probably imagine, Zoras swim a lot better than Link. Like, look at this. Seriously. Holy balls. Oh, and while you're doing this, um, well, can you, how can you, how do you do that? There you go. You press R, and you can make that electric field, which will damage nearby enemies. Yay! Wee! And what I'm doing right here, that'll actually come into play later. He'll have to jump out of the water at some point. He goes pretty slow on land, though, so you, you probably won't take it off when you're on land. Anyways... Well, that should probably just about do it for this episode. Let's just check his grave one more time. Herein lies Mikau, the legendary guitarist of the Zora tribe. He is to be remembered in this song, and his lyrics are written here. Will you try to sing Mikau's lyrics? What? I didn't know you could do this. Okay, we the Zora. Um. 
Oh, this is just telling you how to control the Zora. Okay. Yeah. If R is pressed when swimming, a shield. Yep. And this that electric shield consumes magic, just like it said there. All right. Well, that was kind of pointless. I was kind of hoping for some awesome Zelda music video or something like dancing all about going crazy. You know. But I guess the closest we're ever gonna get to that is uh when with the Kamaro's mask and those girls, which was albeit hilarious. Okay, so that's enough screwing around for this episode. We didn't, well, we didn't really screw around. We just kind of got a mask. Is that really all we did? Holy crap, that is really all we did in like 15 minutes here. 16 minutes. Well, next time I promise you we'll do some a lot more productive work. So, until next time, thank you everyone for watching, and this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night. Link, my episode wasn't that boring. I'd appreciate you not to make fun of it by yawning. Thank you.